Hi guys, it's Andre here. I just want to show you in a small video how to handle the watermaker on Pacific Dream. First of all, the manual, always a good read. Here is the plumbing diagram and I'm sitting here in the front locker and I just take you through quickly. We have here the seawater inlet through the strainer that is in the master cabin. I installed a shut-off valve, I will show that to you just now, with a booster pump. The booster pump is pump number one. It's supplying salt water through the 20 micron filter. And the 20 micron filter is this one here. I made a little note here. This comes from the booster pump through the filter to the 5 micron filter. We have a little pressure indication. This one I need to replace, it's broken, it should show zero. It's a negative and positive pressure. This indicates when the high pressure pump is sucking and the booster pump can't deliver because of blocked filters, it would go negative. If the booster pump delivers more than what the high pressure pump is using, it would be a bit in a positive range, what would be correct. Right next to it we have a changeover valve. That changeover valve is this one here. This is used when we do a chemical rinse of the system. There is a pipe here that goes in a bucket and for chemical rinse you switch over here to cleaning and the valve needs to be here. Always make sure this valve is all the way to the high pressure pump. So the water flow comes from the 5 micron filter down here and goes into the pump here we have an oil level and the indication glass I need to replace it was cracked when I changed the oil. This one pumps high, high pressure water in through that pipe to the inlet of the membrane. This is the membrane here on top goes across and then the outlet of the membrane this pipe goes into the cupboard in the master bedroom where you adjust the pressure to 800 850 psi so it's the back pressure to the membrane that makes the waters through the membrane then the drinking water comes out here the blue pipe this goes through a pH neutralizer that filter I replaced that as well so we went high pressure pump through the membrane this is the gauge in the bedroom and the back pressure to 800 psi and then it goes to waste and then you have the flow indicator and when you change it over that's the blue pipe here to go to the post treatment what is this filter and I just made a little bit of a date indication when we change the filter okay from here the water goes then into the holding tank that's the flow of the system and now to clean the system what is absolutely vital you can see of the little bit of usage the 20 and 5 micron filter they get quite dirty so they filtering the sea water and what gives the water a bad smell if sea water is standing so we need to flush out the sea water after every use to keep it and you do that here the blue plumbing is the water supply from the water tanks from the boat and it actually brings it through here that's our fresh water shut off valve and here is a carbon filter that as well was replaced so when I open up this valve here we now pumping fresh water from the tanks through the carbon filter through here into the pipe and it comes actually through this filter so now we flushing fresh water through the mic 20 micron filter, 5 micron filter and we flush out all that sea water and that's important. So while this is on, what's happening now that 
the water will flow through here and the plumbing goes in here and instead of now flushing the system it's flushing through the booster pump into the sea and we're not rinsing the system that's why I installed here a little shut off valve so that we can block this off so now we're just rinsing out the pipe into the sea and in the next video I just show you where to close that valve while I'm leaving that open so here I'm in the master bedroom and <coughs> what we have here here is the sea cock we have the filter and there's two pipes and this is the shut off valve I installed for the booster pump so now while the water is open just close that valve with that having closed now there's no fresh water rinsing back into the sea and now it's rinsing through the entire water maker this pump here is the air conditioning for the master bedroom we what I have done I installed as well an hour meter now so that we actually can see for how long we're running the bo booster pump and the high pressure pump and you can actually see here how the pressure is rising you can see how the filters gets flushed with fresh water and all this is now going through the high pressure pump through the membrane out uh, through the wastage and this is all what you need to do to flush the system do it maybe for two minutes or so that is sufficient and what is most important don't forget to switch this off and of course you need to open up the inlet valve on the bottom of the boat